Hello students, welcome to Lucky Learning. Here in this video, I am going to discuss the most important topic is called instruction cycle. A program residing in the memory unit of the computer consists of sequence of instructions. In the basic computer, each instruction is executed by going through a cycle called instruction cycle. Instruction cycle consists of the four following phases. Those are called fetch an instruction from memory, decode the instruction so that it understand what type of instruction it is. Is it memory reference instruction, register reference instruction, input output instruction. If it is so and so instruction in that again what type of instruction it is to be decoded. And then read the effective address from memory if the instruction has indirect address. This phase is required. If the instruction has indirect address, then it requires to read the effective address. And finally, execute the instruction. After step 4, the control goes back to step 1 to fetch, then decode and read the effective address and execute the next instruction. This process is going to be continuous unless halt instruction is encountered to stop execution of the program. Here, these are the four phases. Fetch an instruction, decode the instruction, read effective address, execute the instructions. Once these four phases are completed, then it continues with the next instruction with the same four phases. Now here you look at instruction fetch is to fetch an instruction from the memory and then control unit is going to decode the instruction and understand and assign some control signals to various parts of a computer so that computer can execute the instructions in the ALU circuit once execution is completed, the result will be stored back to memory. This is going to be repeated for each instruction until the end of the program. To fetch and decode, initially the program counter is loaded with the address of the first instruction in the program. And the sequence counter SC is clear to 0, providing a decoding timing signal T0. It means a timing signal T0, it has to start fetching an instruction. After each clock pulse, sequence counter is incremented by 1. So that timing signals are go through the sequence. T0, T1, T2 and so on. This is what we have discussed in the timing and control. Means it is going to generate the timing signals T0, T1, T2 and so on. And it also generates the decoding outputs we call D0, D1, D2, D3 and D7 and so on. Based on decoding and timing signals, it has to decide at what time which operation to be executed. The micro operations for the fetch and decode phases includes PC means address of the first instruction when the ex program is executing for the first time that will be stored into the AR. AR is called address register. Using that address register, CPU can read the instruction from the memory. Then it read the instruction from the memory that instruction will be stored into the instruction register once an instruction is fetched for execution pc should store the address of the next instruction this is done by incrementing the value of pc by one so that pc is pointing to the next instruction so transferring the pc value to ar happens in the t0 timing signal and reading the instruction from memory into IR and incrementing the PC should happen in timing signal T1. And in timing signal T2, it is to be decoded. So decoding is done based on the opcode. Opcode bits are 12 to 14. 
of the instruction register is decoded to generate the decoded output signals we call D0 to D7 and the 11, 0 to 11 bits of instruction is specifying the address that will be transferred to address register and the 15th bit is mode bit that will be stored into the I flip flop. This is going to happen in the case of fetch and decode. For fetching, it uses T0 and T1 timing signals. For decoding, it uses timing signal T2. And then once it is decoding, it is going to determine the type of the instruction. Because we have seen there are three types of instructions called memory reference instructions, register reference instructions, and input output instructions. This is all decided based on the opcode value that is. 0 to 6 in the case of memory reference instructions. In the case of register reference and input output instructions, opcode is 7, but I bit is 0 for register reference instruction, I bit is 1 for input output instructions. So the three instruction types are subdivided into four separate parts. The selected operation is activated with a clock transition associated with the timing signal T3. This can be symbolized as D7 dash. D7 dash means D7 decoding signal. It means if decoding signal is 0, D7 dash means it is 1. It is 1 means D7 is 0. And I is mode bit. It is 1. And timing signal T3, what it has to done, it is understand that it is an indirect address. And D7 dash means it is 0, D7 is 0, it is understand that it is a memory reference instructions so that it is going to perform reading the effect address. And more specifically, if it is represented as I, it is called 1. If it is represented as I dash, it is 0. If it is D7, it is 1. If it is represented as D7 dash, it is called 0. Now, look at d7 dash it means d7 is 0 d7 dash means 0 it is a memory reference instruction i dash i dash means it is 0 means direct address if it is a direct address is it requires to read the effective address do nothing simply increment the sequence counter if d7 is 1 i dash is 0 d7 is 1 and i dash is 0 i dash i dash is I dash means it is 0. It means it is specifying a register reference instruction at timing signal T3. It should execute the register reference instruction. D7, 1. I is 1. And timing signal T3. It executes input output instructions. Fine. Now, look at how instruction cycle is to be represented. Initially, it starts with a sequence 0. Sequence counter is initiated to 0 and then it has to transfer the PC value to AR to read the instruction from the memory at timing signal T0. Then it has to read an instruction from the memory and stored into instruction register and parallelly PC can be incremented by 1 to fetch the next instruction at timing signal T1. Then it has to perform the decoding. For decoding, it has to see the opcode bits 12 to 14 and it is going to generate one of these seven decoding outputs D0 to D7 and 12 bit address 0 to 11 is stored into AR and 15th bit is called mode bit that will be stored into I at timing signal once it is decoded, based on the D7th bit, it has to decide whether the instructions are register reference, are input output instructions, are memory reference instructions. That will be decided based on the D7th bit. If D7th bit is 0, then we can treat it as memory reference instructions. If D7th bit is 1, we treat it as register reference instructions. If it is D7th bit is 1, we can call it is register reference or IO instructions. Again, it is going to be decided 
whether it is register reference or IO based on the I bit. If the I bit is 0, it is for register reference instructions. I bit is 1, it is for memory input output instructions. If I bit is 1, it should execute the IO instruction and reset the sequence counter to 0 at timing signal T3. And if I bit is 0, it is register reference instruction. It executes the register reference instructions and reset the sequence counter to 0 at timing signal T3. And if it is memory reference instruction, when in the case of D7 bit is 0, again, it requires to know whether the address part is going to specify the direct address or indirect address will be decided based on the I bit. Again, I may be 0 or 1. If I is 1, we can call indirect address. If it is indirect address, it has to read the effective address by reading from the memory at timing signal T3 and execute the memory reference instruction and sequence counter is set to 0 at timing signal T4. If I bit is 0, we call it as a direct address. If it is direct address, we don't have reading effective address. So that at timing signal T3, it should do nothing. Then it executes the memory reference instruction. Again, sequence counter is set to 0 for the next instruction. This process is going to be repeated for the next instruction. This is the instruction cycle. If you like the video, do share with your friends and do like share and subscribe and don't forget to click the bell icon for the regular updates thank you